डिफ्रेंशियबिलिटी इन प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव स्टडी दैट द डेरिवेटिव ऑफ अ रियल फंक्शन एफ एट पॉइंट सी इन इट्स डोमेन इज डिफाइंड बाय डी बाय डी एक्स ऑफ एफ एक्स एट एक्स इज इक्वल टू सी इज इक्वल टू लिमिट एच टेंस टू जीरो ऑफ एफ सी प्लस एच माइनस एफ सी डिवाइडेड एच Derivative of a function f x can be written as f dash x is equal to limit h tends to zero f x plus h minus f x by h. If y is equal to f x, the derivative of y is denoted by y dash is equal to d y by d x is equal to d by d x of f x. The process of finding derivative of a function is called differentiation. Finding f dash x means differentiating f x with respect to x. Algebra of derivatives. Following rules were established as a part of algebra of derivatives. First rule of derivative of sum or difference of functions f and g is equal to sum or difference of derivative of functions f and g. Second rule is product rule. Derivative of product of two functions f and g is equal to f dash g plus f g dash. Third rule is quotient rule. Derivative of f by g is equal to f dash g minus f g dash by g square, wherever g is not equal to zero. If limit h tends to zero of f c plus h minus f c by h does not exist, then we can say that. f is not differentiable at c in other words f is differentiable at a point c in its domain if both left hand limit and right hand limit are finite and equal a function is said to be differentiable in an interval ab if it is differentiable at every point of interval a and b including A and B. Theorem three states that if a function f is differentiable at a point C, then it is also continuous at point C. Every differential function is continuous, but converse of this may not true. Every continuous function may not be differentiable. Now let us find. derivative of a composite function let fx is equal to h composite gx if f is a composite function of h and g then the derivative of f with respect to x is equal to derivative of h with respect to g multiplied by derivative of g with respect to x This can be extended to three functions. F is composite function of h and g and k. Then df by dx is equal to dh by dg multiplied by dg by dk multiplied by dk by dx. This is known as chain rule. and can be extended to any number of composite functions let us take an example to understand chain rule let fx is equal to sin x square fx is a composite function of two functions sin and square 
using chain rule we can write df by dx is equal to d sin x square by dx square multiplied by dx square by dx d sin x square by dx square is equal to cos x square and d by dx of x square is 2x so df by dx is equal to 2x cos x square 